Hey Mer fam, it's Mermaid Minnow and Mertender Bobby. Today, what we're gonna be doing is building a. <laughs> it's supposed to be a house, but a mermaid mansion. This is literally says on here. You can't. I can't zoom in, and I. I'm not in a place that I can move, so I can't really show you. But on here it says estate size. So we got ourselves a big. Uh, Big old house. Big old gingerbread manor. And during this time when we're doing our mermaid themed ginger manor, um, we are going to be answering some questions, asking each other questions, and answering them, and just kind of talking about those things. So let's go ahead and dive in. Anyway, all right, so we're not going to go based off of what's on the box because we don't got time for that. <laughs> so. I think what we'll do is we'll start off with decorating the sides of the house. So you get a side and I get a side. Perfect. So do you want to start asking questions? Do you want to do like every other or? Uh, yeah, let's do every other, okay. but I, I can start. Okay. Um, what's the difference between mermaiding on camera and off camera? So like for making a YouTube video versus just for funsies. Uh huh. So for me, when I'm making a YouTube video, there's a lot of things that I'm focusing on. So there's a lot more prep involved. I'm making sure I have all of the, you know, the GoPro cameras charged, the batteries are ready to go. There's a lot of like pre, let's get this stuff done kind of stuff. Uh -huh. And the actual swimming itself is very different. So when I'm on, when I'm on camera, I'm or when I'm when I'm <laughs> when I'm filming, I'm really focusing on sort of just making sure that I am doing the right angle and doing my dolphin kick in a specific way and all sorts of things like that. So I'm not really thinking about what like I'm really thinking about what I'm doing really hard instead of when I am doing it just for fun, I am not thinking about any of that stuff. So when you're just swimming casually, like I'm just packing my goggles, my mermaid tail, I don't care which tail it is. I'm just kind of packing everything and making sure it's ready to go and that's that. Now I guess I can ask you a question. So what, so fun fact, he didn't marry a mermaid. The mermaid came after. So you didn't, when we were first together and dating and all this stuff, this craziness wasn't a thing. I mean, I don't think I was actually like into anything. <laughs> no, you weren't. So what was your first thought when you first saw me in, or like when I first asked you for a mermaid tail? Cause I asked for my birthday. Um, I mean, I hadn't ever like heard of it being a thing. Um, but at the same time I was excited because I love swimming. And so, and we were looking for ways to be more active. Mm -hmm. and that was a way we would both enjoy because you wanted to do this and it involves swimming so I would get to swim. Yeah I was excited because I really enjoy swimming and so it was something we could do together that was active. Um, you were really excited about it and so I was really looking forward to it. Do you still get that same level of excitement every time I buy a new mermaid tail? No. <laughs> what is the uh, Difficulty in coming up with video ideas versus the difficulty of actually making the videos. Um, and does it vary? Like video to video? Yeah. No, it's kind of the same. So I am very much so a perfectionist. Like I like to say, oh, I'm a easy going laid back person. No, I'm, I'm very high maintenance. So what that means is I struggle so much with videos. Like there are, I, I don't know. I don't know how to even explain it. It's just, I put a lot of pressure on myself to have a video feel a certain way. And if I feel like it's poopy, I will not post it. I will redo it. I will shelf it. There's a video that I have that I've done. I've been working on for over a month. Mm -hmm. And it's not because like there's like things I need to buy or anything like that. It's just every time I sit down and film it, I get really upset. Like it just doesn't flow the way I want it to. I don't think anyone's going to be interested in it. It's just a lot of stress in that sense. So like I just, I struggle with that personally, Ooh, personally and just high expectations of myself. 
Um, but the video ideas themselves are pretty easy, but like how it actually translates out is a whole nother story. I kind of asked this already, but like, well, I guess it's kind of like a two part question here, but you can answer it just with the one part. So I kind of asked already, like what you thought of my me getting a tail and you said you're really excited, but like, what do you think of me being a mermaid now? And that kind of leads into, since we're talking about social media, like what do you think of my YouTube channel and Instagram? Like what? You see the good, the bad, the ugly. Everybody else sees the mediocre and the good. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what what do you think about all of that? Um, sometimes it's it's tough just because it is very stressful sometimes to get a video done um, and get it done the way you want. I mean, I think it's cool, and and I know you. It's something you really enjoy doing as much as it can stress you out. Um, at the the end of things, you enjoy sharing something you're passionate about with other people. And um, yeah. So some people who are watching this may know about mer tenders and kind of what their roles are, but some people may not know that there's a variety of different types of mer tenders. So mer tenders that do different types of things. What is your role as my mer tender, and what are some of the like responsibilities that you have? Um, I'm responsible for basically everything not social media related. So I'm responsible for carrying the tails. Um, making sure we have all our gear together. We do that together, but I am supposed to, you know, make sure we have everything we need um, when we need it, uh, make sure batteries are charged, um, and then the actual filming. Um, for videos like this, it's on a tripod, but I'm still typically in the room you set hitting up. records, help set up. Um, help figure out lighting together because staring into the ring light uh, doesn't facilitate seeing the screen very well. Um, and so we, we teamwork that together. You're pretty heavily involved in some of my videos. Like, I mean, it's pretty obvious now that they're hearing your voice again too, but in my Pet Mermaid video, you're the narrator or yep. person and you're walking and talking and You've told me, I mean, nobody else heard this, but you, it was very odd for you to talk about me in third person while I it, was there. It was <laughs> real weird. So, like, you do have a, you know, it's kind of like, but I drag him into these things. So, if I didn't suggest it, he probably wouldn't do it himself, which is fine. But, you know, it's just kind of how things are. So, yeah, that's kind of what I'm responsible for. What? And I want to know, like... The more reasonable answer and like the most like outlandish answer you can think of. Oh, you know that's gonna be dangerous. Yes, <laughs> of course. Um, but uh, mermaids you would like to collaborate with? Uh, honestly, all of them. There's not a mermaid that I can think of that I would. Well, okay, maybe there's a couple. <laughs> But not, the, the, this the, is like, like that kind of video. But really, I think it's more of like, I. it's not that I necessarily like have dream collaborations, but more of like dream goals. And I uh -huh. think you have a question about that. Yeah, I feel like that would go to like your dream swim space. Yeah. Or um, location. I really, 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 really would like to try being in a tank. I think my brain is already like thought of like, photo shoots and stuff in a tank. I've already been there. Um, and so I think that would be a really fun experience. Um, I also really would love to swim in the ocean. So I've never swam in the ocean before. I don't even think I've, as a mermaid, I've swam in the ocean as a human. But <laughs> I don't think I even like was in the sound. Nope, nope, mm -hmm. haven't been in the ocean at all. So that would be a, a kind of a goal for me. But anyway, so I, I, I think that's more like I have aspirations as a mermaid to do things rather than with people. Uh -huh. I would do it with Go anyone. to places like, you know, we we missed out on Mermagicon this year. Yeah. Um, so like that would have been cool. So it's just getting to swim with other mermaids in general is just... That's fun. a really cool experience. Yeah. yeah. If you're a mer, a solar mer, 
it's definitely worth saving up some seashells to travel to a pod meetup or some of these conventions that happen and swim with other mermaids because it's a very very magical experience yeah so, when we went to the seattle pod for the first time that was a really really cool thing yeah just like 30 people having a great time yeah so yeah so um we're gonna go ahead and sign off here we'll go ahead and probably have already inserted the finished masterpiece watch us like not even do that we'll see <laughs> <laughs> but anyway so we'll go ahead and insert that watching this video I hope you enjoyed it I hope it's not too long uh, there's probably gonna be a lot edited out and that's okay and fine especially because I ramble so um, <laughs> so yeah so if you guys haven't already please go ahead and subscribe to my channel give this video a like if you enjoyed it as well as go ahead and leave a comment down below what do you guys think of our house um, it's in pieces right now but what do you think of the finished product uh, do you think it was creative do you think it looks like mermaid turd who knows <laughs> um, <laughs> you can follow me on my other socials, which you can find in the description down below. So you can follow me on other mermaiding adventures too. And that's all I have for this video. So I'll swim with you guys later. Bye. Bye.